In this video, I'm ranking every Treyarch Zombies mini boss from easiest difficulty to the hardest of them all. With that being said, let's just jump right into this. Starting off our list is the Shangri La Monkeys. Now, these guys are honestly more useful than annoying since you can use them to get frequent max ammo as well as extra perks past your four normal ones. Taking up the 52nd place on the list is the Templar Zombies. These are zombies on Origins that just literally are normal zombies that try and take generators on Origins. They're super easy to deal with, and that's why they take up this low place on the list. Next up on my ranking is the Keepers from Shadows of Evil. Once again, these are basically a normal zombie with a reskin, so they do nothing extra compared to the normal zombies in the game. The only thing that makes them harder than Templars is that they'll surprise you when you spawn them in. Coming in at the 50th place is Die Rise's Armored Zombies. Once again, these are normal zombies that just take a little bit more additional damage to kill due to their armored plating that they have. Now, I would say that the Lightning and Fire Zombies from Black Ops 4 are only a little bit more difficult due to their elemental aspects that they come with. The Hellhounds were the first alternate zombie type to ever release, and they bring a very small challenge with the guaranteed reward of a max ammo. Once again, these guys are also more useful than detrimental to your game. Now, the Lightning Hounds released in Elf Omega pose a slightly larger threat than the Hellhounds due to the little explosion damage they inflict when you kill them. Plague Hounds are once again in a similar boat as Lightning Hounds, except the Nova effect lasts a little bit longer than the Lightning effect does. Now, these witches are super easy since they don't really kill you, but they take up the number 45th place because they can steal all your money just like my ex wife did. Now, Nova Crawlers add a little bit of spice to Kino Jotun, but they still are super easy to deal with, which is why they take up such a low place on my list. Jolting Jacks are a small variation on the Nova Crawlers released in Alpha Omega that are only slightly more difficult than the originals. Now, the Catalyst Zombies come in at number 42th place as they're easy to kill but have personalized effects like the lightning that blinds you. These effects are what make the boss more annoying than any of the previous ones and why it's a little bit higher up on the list. Now moving on to Nova 6 Bombers. These are once again just a variation of Nova 6 Crawlers that blow up when they get anywhere near you. Now taking up our number 40 place on the list is Skeletons. Once again these are basically normal zombies but the fact that they only die to headshots makes them considerably more annoying than previous ones. This is going to be my first controversial pick but at number 39 goes to the Pentagon Thief. He's honestly super easy to deal with and the only thing he does is steal your weapon which you can easily get back. Also if you have anything like a ray gun or Mustang and Salas you basically can't get your weapon because he dies super easily. Lastly if you kill him before he takes a weapon you get a bonfire sale which lets you pack a bunch for only 1000 points. Now the tigers from 9 are basically hell haunts, but they're a little bit higher due to the really annoying movement patterns that they have. Now the last variation of the novas are the teleporting novas seen on 5 and moon. These guys are literally nova crawlers but they only have one major difference being their ability to teleport around and this ability makes them just so much more annoying and makes it feel really unnecessary for them to even be in the game. Zetsubo no Shima had the release of the spider rounds and once again they're super easy to deal with. They're similar to hellhounds with the only major difference being their projectile damage which is why they're higher on the list. This brings us into our number 35th place, Parasites. These guys are essentially the same as spiders except they have the ability to fly around as well so they're a little bit more challenging to deal with. Now for the sake of this video I'm going to be ranking the Shinonuma hellhounds separately because they work so differently from the normal hellhounds. The Shinonuma hellhounds don't let you regen health like normal hellhounds so they make for much more challenging rounds. You got to make sure you don't get bit by these guys because they will end your game really quick. Now the Furies protect the portals on Revelations and honestly they don't really pose much of a threat. They can be super easy to deal with and only come when you do the generators. Space Monkeys from Ascension can be super easy to deal with in co-op but they become a struggle on solo. When you're in solo you need to make a gamble of which two perks you're going to protect and hope they don't take the any others because if they do you're probably going to lose it. At least they only target two perks at a time though. Now the Avogadro is super easy to deal with but it can be tedious to focus on knifing him when you have a horde of zombies out for them cheeks. The other boss on transit being denizens don't even kill you but they're just annoying enough to cause the zombies to catch up to you and have the zombies kill you. Also, I'd just like to mention, there's literally no way to get rid of them as you always have to walk through the frog because the traveling system's so bad. And they're literally permanently on the map. You can't get rid of these guys. Taking up the number 28 place is the Meatballs. These guys came out on Shadows of Evil and they're super easy to kill, but they move super fast and do explosive damage. This explosive damage is just annoying enough to be able to take you down, so you need to be careful if there's too many of them. Now, in my personal opinion, I believe that the Tempest Zombies are only slightly more annoying than the Meatballs. Now, Shangri-La Shriekers don't do a ton of damage. Rather, their power comes from their ability to completely blind you. These guys don't really damage you. They just run really quick and completely remove your ability to see anything. Valkyrie Jones from Guard Krovi climbed to the top of the round bosses given their abilities. They can take a large sum of money while also dealing it right back at you. On top of everything else though, they can also fly like the parasites as we've seen earlier. Now, thrashers can be super easy to deal with, but they can also be super annoying. They're super easy to kill if you shoot their sacks, but they become annoying due to their high spawn frequency. These guys are literally constantly up your ass. Now, Brutus takes up the 23rd place because every time he hits me, I get PTSD flashbacks of my father. Blood of the Dead's rendition on him is only slightly more difficult than the normal Brutus. The Disciples from Hour can be difficult enough even though they don't take much to kill. The problem with them is they'll end up giving other zombies health boosts which just becomes super annoying when you have to kill a horde. Now, Napalm zombies are once again super easy to deal with while posing a big enough threat at the same time. If you don't properly deal with these guys, their explosion could make or break your game and they also spawn pretty much every single round alongside Shriekers. Now, these Mimics are pretty much just really ugly guys from Firebase C who take a good amount of damage and also surprise sex to you. Moving on to the Mangler zombies that take up our number 18 place. They're here because they have a good mix of damage as 
as well as a tank factor, so you can't really kill them that easily. They take a ton of damage before you can actually put them down, so it just becomes really annoying. Personally, I believe that Dead of the Night's vampires can be just slightly more difficult than the Mangler zombies. The Stoker from Voyage of Despair becomes really annoying once again due to the spawn frequency on them. On Voyage, it feels like you're constantly being overwhelmed by these guys. Now, I would say that the Destroyer is one of the easiest boss types on 9 outside of the Tiger. He pretty much just walks around throwing these battle axes every now and then, and it doesn't do that much damage. The Marauder is only a slightly more difficult counterpart to the Destroyer. Unlike the Destroyer, he actually charges you and is noticeably more aggressive and does more damage. Also, their health pools are about the same. Now, the Megaton was the first core boss to release in Cold War, and he can pack a punch. Alongside his high damage output, he is also super hard to kill. Overall, I would say that he is just a really well-rounded boss. George Romero going this low will probably be controversial, but I truly believe he belongs here. I understand that he has the most HP of any zombie in COD, but he just really isn't that threatening. He does pretty much no damage and literally walks around if you don't shoot him. He also comes with a kick-ass reward being the Wonder Wolf. Coming in at number 11 is the Origins Panzer. Something about this guy spawning in at round 8 on Origins scares the heck out of me even to this day. Now the Margwa is a tentacle monster who wants nothing more than to fill you up. He can slam the absolute shit out of you and only takes damage in certain places on his body. Also, these holes close at random times. Moving on to the Revelations Margwa where they're only slightly more powerful due to their elemental damage. But it's also paired with the Thunder Gun which makes it super easy to kill them. The Abomination from Forsaken is basically a reworked version of the Margwa but done in a way better way. Basically he's the same thing but he has the ability to plow through you at any moment. Now coming in at number 7 is the Astronaut. This guy is just super annoying because he steals your perks at random meaning he can just take things like Jug and Quick Revive. His health also scales with rounds so it eventually becomes impossible to kill him on round 100. Now the Crimson Vampire takes up the number 6 spot on my list being a little bit more difficult than the normal version of the Vampire. Werewolves were another boss released in Dead of the Night that are slightly more difficult than the Crimson Vamps. Now Dorizondrox's alteration on the Panzer makes him considerably more difficult than Origins. He's basically given the ability to throw projectile shock charges that can temporarily stun you. This can be game ending if you don't know how to deal with it. Above all else though, Mauer's alteration on the Panzer is the most difficult due to its ability to actually fly around the map. Coming in at our number 2 place is the Giganese. This guy was originally released on Ancient Evil and he's one of the most difficult bosses of all time. He's equipped with frequent spawn rates, a ton of health, and a ton of damage to go with it. He definitely just becomes a pain in the ass when paired with the other bosses on the map. Now, some of you might have guessed this, but coming in at number 1 is the Blightfather. He spawns in strapped with almost everything. He has high damage, high health, projectile attacks, and he even gives you some Glock Glock 9000 with his tongue. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out this other video by me.